I see that uh, most almost everyone is here, so I will start. Uh, good afternoon, good morning or good evening, depending on where you're watching from. Thank you for attending this uh, webinar today and taking your time uh, for uh, for seeing this uh, flare tip handling method of Combit. Uh, I will talk about Combit's method of replacing uh, handling the flare tip uh, as usual. First, to tell a bit about Combit for everyone that is not familiar with our services, Combit is a lifting contractor providing lifting solutions by mechanical handling in areas where there is no crane or lifting capacity. Such areas you can see in this picture right here, they can be side deck, below deck, below the heli deck, on the flare tip, or in any area when there is no crane or lifting capacity. We do this by lifting or retrieving from or to the supply vessel or retrieving to the platform if there is space available. So about Combit's history, Combit has engineering in its DNA. Founded in 93 in Eindhoven, Combit started as an engineering company in the telecom industry. And later in 2002, we started entering the offshore market with engineering projects only. Later, in 2011, we started becoming the lifting contractor that Combit is today and started becoming a lifting contractor for offshore projects, executing projects as well. In 2017, we were bought by the ALE group and later in 2020, Mammoth bought ALE and Combit with it. But since last year, Combit is an independent company and the owners decided to buy the company back. To have an overview of our market, uh, Combit's market is international. You can see here all the places and companies we have worked for. Uh, these are actually some of the companies. There are more as well. I have to mention uh, our main office is in Eindhoven, the Netherlands, but we also have an office in Houston, USA, and one in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. So for today's topic, I will talk about flare tip handling, more exactly flare tip replacement. And for Combit, this is our specialization. We are often approached for this type of projects since our system has shown our clients the added value of working with Combit while executing a flare tip replacement. Thus, our proven experience in the domain attracts further operators in considering our method. We work on inclined booms, vertical booms, on uh, fixed or floating platforms and in areas where there is a high complexity uh, on projects where there is, uh, as I mentioned, there is a high complexity and it is usually a difficult project to be approached with a barge vessel, a crane vessel or a helicopter. We always test our equipment before uh, procedure. One load test is performed outside our warehouse before shipping to location and the second load test performed on location once the equipment is installed. The Combit office here in Eindhoven, as you can see in the picture, uh, we are hosting our equipment in the warehouse and we also provide engineering solution which are in-house uh, made by our engineering team. Those solutions can be personalized and customized for every challenge. Uh, this is one of the reasons some co contractors choose Combit again and again, because we uh, always take the necessities of the client in mind when approaching a project. I believe uh, a video would show best our method. So here it is. This structure that you see right here in the video, this is the co Combit modular gantry structure. 
is a flare tip replacement done in Malaysia. And the reason our uh, client approached us with this project was the high complexity, as I mentioned before. So firstly, an Irata certified uh, rope access technician climbs up to the platform with a sheave, inspecting the integrity of the flare boom structure. And later on using the sheave, the equipment is installed. This light rigging equipment is later used to install the gantry system that you see right now. This light rigging equipment is often used for uh, flare tip maintenance in some projects when the when there is when the load is not that heavy. But for a flare tip replacement, the gantry uh, needs to be installed. Here you can see the technicians unbolt the old flare tip and connect it to the gantry. Later on, we lower the flare tip across the platform and now it is lowered and transferred to this line hook right here. This allows for an easier control of the load. As you can see, there are winches installed on the platform which control the load and are used to retrieve the old flare tip to the platform. The process and this procedure is done uh, the opposite way when installing the new flare tip. For this particular project, uh, the, there was a high level of attention necessary and the client chose Combit because it allows for a better uh, maneuvering of the load as compared to a helicopter or a crane barge. Later on, I want to talk about another project which is quite special in my opinion. And this is a project that we have done in Malaysia as well. And the main challenge for which the client contacted Combit for this procedure was the height of the flare tip. As you can read, uh, there the platform was at 135 meters height. For a tower at 135 meters height, there needs to be at least 150 meter crane which was very difficult to find in the region, also expensive to mobilize. And for this project, the option of using a helicopter could have been suitable, but due to the complexity of the flare tip and the requirements of the client, this would have been very expensive. Thus, the combat system provided a better solution here. I have to mention that our system, as mentioned before, is an alternative to crane vessels or helicopters. Shutdown times can be reduced and are often reduced when working on flare tips and no welding or hot work is required. Everything is clamped on the platform and we live directly from the deck or supply vessel, also retrieving to the deck or supply vessel if there is space available. I also have a video to show this project. This was also an inclined flare tip. Here you can see the equipment being clamped to the platform. This is the light rigging equipment that you've seen before, and this is used to install the gantry. Now the luffing line is added to the gantry to allow for movement and the span of the system. Here you can see the flare tip was lowered to the supply vessel. In this particular project, the high complexity uh, part was that the platform had to be removed as well and several pieces of the flare tip. So if you would do this with a helicopter, it would uh, require uh, multiple, uh, multiple ways of the helicopter, so runs, and this would be very expensive, but here with the combat system, as you can see, all the pieces were removed one by one and installed same way around.
Now to talk about a more recent project that we have done. This project is the flare tip handling on the Boncot North platform. As you can see, this platform is uh, quite large for it has three towers and we had to handle four flare tips. There were different challenges on each tower and one of them was inclined, two of them were vertical. Uh, the uh, the contractor also also chose Combit for this particular uh, ha flare tip handling because we have previous experience with the platform. We have previously replaced one of those flare tips and used our drawings for uh, for this procedure as well. Here you can clearly see uh, one of the methods. So for this FP tower two flare tips had to be replaced. They were replaced using the existing David structure that was already there. This was, I have to mention, this was inspected by uh, Combit and we all always make sure about the integrity and of the structure that we clamp or use during our procedures. Uh, so the, as you can see here, the rotating structure was, was used to remove this flare tip and later, lower to the closest uh, platform av available. Uh, manual tag lines, as you've seen in the first video of for the winches, they were used to control the load. So yes, it allows for easier control when positioning it on the platform. And uh, the procedure was followed uh, the same when reinstalling the new flare tip and also when uh, taking out and installing the second flare tip as well. Next one, uh, this is also one of the towers on the Boncot North platform. This is the SPP tower, which is the inclined one. Here we use our modular gantry system to replace it, as you've seen in the previous videos. You can see here that the flare tip was lowered above the platform and then connected to the line hook right here to allow for easier control of the load. And last but not least, the uh, the last tower that we have worked on on this platform uh, only required maintenance. Uh, this is the PP tower and the challenge here was to uh, replace the flare windshield, the air ring and the pilots. And this was done using the light rigging equipment. This is the equipment that you've seen in the videos that was used to install the gantry system. Uh, this equipment is, I have to mention, is also modular and installed by the Irata technician, uh, which is which installs it manually. This flare tip was previously replaced by Combit in 2016. Thus, uh, it allowed for an easier process. Next, I have to mention uh, if what you have, if you can uh, see our procedure implemented within your company and you have liked what you have seen so far, I will be traveling to Nigeria from the 4th to the 8th of December. I will be in Lagos. So you can contact me for any inquiries or meetings online or in person. In addition to this, my colleague Mateus Lampert he will, will be traveling to Mexico on the uh, from the 11th to the 15th of December. And as well, he will be available to meet in person or online with for any inquiries. Uh, in addition to this, Mateus will be hosting a crane service uh, webinar as well. Check the Combit LinkedIn page to sign up for it. And I have to thank my colleagues for helping me with this uh, presentation. Uh, my colleagues are available for you to contact anytime. Uh, I have to mention we have our colleague Diane in the USA. You can contact uh, Brom or anyone in the Eindhoven office for any local inquiries or Jeremy in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. For more specific inquiries, for example, if you are from the Western Africa region, you can contact Lenny, my colleague. 
And uh, if you are from the Middle East and Northern Africa region, Dennis Him will be uh, will be at your disposition. Thank you for listening, and I am waiting for your questions. Oh, yes, I see that I I have a question. Uh, Lenny, can you read that for me, please? Valentin, uh, a question from one of the attendants. How does mechanical handling compare to helicopter replacement? So I am not sure if everyone heard my colleague. The question was, how does mechanical handling compare to helicopter replacement? And I have to say, although you might think helicopters are faster and the procedure is uh, would be simpler in your point of view, with mechanical handling, as you've seen in the videos, uh, this allows for an easier control of the load. And this comes in handy in, ver in bottleneck projects and in projects that require a high level of attention. I have to mention uh, helicopters can also be quite expensive most of the times, depending on the region you are from. So if anyone has any questions, Oh, yes, can you read that to me? Valentin, how do you assemble the first lifting equipment at the top? So the question was, how do we assemble the first lifting equipment at the top? And I suppose this is about the light rigging equipment, which is used to install the gantry system. Uh, so this equipment is assembled, as I mentioned, by an Arata rope access technician, which climbs up to the flare platform with a sheath uh, attached and later uh, wrapples up with a winch, uh, the light rigging equipment. And with the light rigging equipment, we bring up the gantry system. I hope this was clear enough. And um, do we replace more inclined or do we replace more vertical? So the question was if uh, we replace more inclined or vertical tips, and I have to say, uh, from our expertise, uh, inclined uh, flare towers are usually we are we have more experience in those type of projects. Any other questions? I will also answer uh, any questions if you can open your microphone and speak up. Okay, another question. How long would it, uh, would it take um, this kind of replacement? How uh, long would it take on average and how many people would be involved? So the question was, how long would the flare tip replacement take and how many people would be involved? This, of course, varies from project to project. Uh, on the amount of people involved, usually four to six people, which are uh, combat employees, combat technicians. Uh, they need to be there three days prior to shutdown and three days after the shutdown. But this depends if uh, the load is lowered to a supply vessel or retrieved to the platform. In case of a supply vessel, we need an extra person, so there will always be less personnel needed when retrieving to the platform. And on the matter of time, the flare tip replacement itself takes around three to five days. Uh, and as I mentioned, our team needs to be there three days prior to shutdown and three days after the shutdown. Another question, the weights of flare tips, what are they typically? So uh, regarding the weights of the flare tips, uh, again, it depends on the project. Usually the flare tips are between two and four tons, but we have experience. So, uh, we actually hold the record for replacing the heaviest flare tip uh, in Kazakhstan, which was 11 tons. And this is also mentioned by Google. So Combit is currently the company holding the record for the heaviest flare tip replacement. 
Okay, yes. any other questions? Yes, uh, Valentin, uh, normally, how will be, uh, how are the, uh, the lifting uh, systems that we use? How are they usually lifted uh, to the flat platform? Uh, I'm I'm not sure I understand this question. So the gantry system, the light rigging equipment, or all of them. But uh, I the gantry system. The gantry system. Okay. So uh, I will explain everything again. The as I mentioned before, the Irata rope access technician climbs up to the platform with a sheave, and with this sheave, uh, he lifts up a winch, which is used to assemble the light rigging equipment. The I will. I believe it is, uh, yes, it is clear here. This is the light rigging equipment that I am talking about. And this equipment is later used to install the gantry system. These are small cranes that are used to, uh, to lift the each piece of the modular gantry. And this is later assembled on top of the platform. I hope that was clear enough. <laughs> Do I have any other questions? OK. Well, Feel free to ask any more questions in the time that we have left. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. OK, well, we can yeah, I see that there are no more questions. So. We will wrap up this meeting for everyone who has additional questions that I did not answer in this. OK, now I see there are more questions popping up. Is it? People are thanking you. OK, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. OK, so I will wrap up this meeting for any additional questions. You have the emails of my colleagues here. They will always be available for answering your questions or for even for scheduling a 15 minute online meeting. Thank you all for attending. And yes, looking forward to meeting you.